Picture this, you're bored playing Roblox and you happen to stumble upon an anime impact new anime game that dropped today. And you go to the game and ask yourself, how do I play this game? Well, that's exactly what I'm here for. The Boy From Nowhere is here to bring you the ultimate starter guide, the best starter guide, the mythical starter guide on how to start playing anime impact and really get into it, right? Now, when you first join the game, the very first thing you want to do is if you don't know where it's at, you would press teleport and click code to bring you right to Usopp. Once you join the game, go down below inside the game's you know, description and join the Discord server. And the Discord server should give you access to some codes. I'm pretty sure some codes will drop when the game drops. So get ready for that, right? Put the codes in. After you put in your codes, you can press summon. Go up here and try your first summon. Now, I don't know who's going to be at the banner at that time. So I don't know who's really good. But if you see a character you really like, a character you really enjoy, you can summon for them. If you see Orihime, try to summon for her really, like really, really bad. And like a lot of people say Teen Gohan is like, you know, a real important unit. But the way I play, don't summon for Mythics. Summon for legendaries. If you wonder why, the mythics are a 0.25 chance. They're about as rare as like a shiny Pokemon when you have a shiny charm. So like you know how if you play Pokemon, you know how rare that is, right? But once you find your new units, you summon them. You go down and you go and equip them. You can even you can even type in the name of the unit. Say you want a, a Goku, right? Or a Gohan. You feel me? Or Ichigo. Pretty much the names pretty much rhyme or start with what they do inside Naru, like inside the actual show so even though they're named different things you can just search them up anyway except for sakura her name's cherry i recommend having a sakura because she's a healer right so now we take you to the first stage you can just press play the tp over there also you press q to q to ass like this right hop in a little time pod a time pod time train train station i don't know but you come in shinobi forest the first level the spider boom you get it started let's get into it Hey, think of me as the battle simulation trainer. I'm going to show you how to play this game. Probably not the best way possible, but as best as I can. Because I would say I'm pretty calm. First thing you want to do, auto mode is up here. Don't click this unless you actually want to have your units act for yourself, right? But you can also click up here to raise your match speed. Everybody gets two times for free. Me, I'm a five-timer, you feel me? So, you know. So, now, you use your moves, right? So, certain moves spawn in instantly. You know, I see Krillin got shuttle desk and Sensu being tossed. But you see this five right here with a wait timer. This means that you need five turns to go by before you can use this move. So you can see right here, the shuttle disc, you can target somebody. You see they have types, I will tell you that after, but let's choose move real quick so I can keep keep telling you about it. Goku want to pop Kyle Ken, this is a status move, dirty fireworks, and then Shaw is also a status move that buffs. As you can see, damage and speed ups. That made, you know, the, the units go faster in the, in the turn, in the, in the turn queue, and they do more damage overall. Goku popped Kyle Ken and got his moves. Now, when clicking the move, you can also, you know, click it once. And you can see all the things it does down here. You can see the damage, the accuracy, how many people it targets. You see that this says single. But Vegeta, Energy Blast say AoE. If it says AoE, it hits like, if somebody's in the middle, it hits the left and right of them. So you see how he's at the very end. It would only hit the left of him because no one to the right. And vice versa. He's at the very end, it'll hit the right because no one to the left. And then this is a, a all move, but I'm going to get there when I get there. So you can energy blast right here in the middle. 74 accuracy, so this move might miss a lot, but it should be more than one attack. Sensu beans, there are healing moves in this game. You got to remember that. It heals up 172 health. You sit there, throw Sensu bean at him. Kamehameha, we'll do a bunch of damage right here. Super effective. Goku's a fighting type. Fighting a type is super against normal. I'll teach you all that later. Let's just learn the basic combat real quick. Kamehame. Big good damage. Since we're being tossed to heal up Vegeta, get Vegeta back to full health. And he's still stunned. Stun does run out over time. And pestilence means that once you've been healed, you can't get spam healed for the same full amount. So you gotta wait till your heal goes down some. Vegeta is now free. Vegeta's free to do a bunch of damage. That wasn't Vegeta, but we know what we're doing. Let's target the boss real quick, get him out of here. And then Goku, you just have to spell you have to normal attack. Energy bad while on Vegeta, we can run that back. So show y'all the move. And it makes it rain. Un unluckily, I missed everything, but that's not the important part. We cleared the stage. So now you now know how to fight on anime impact. And as you can see, I beat the stage and got five ramen. So I can go put this drama into my units and make them even stronger. Only took two minutes on two times speed as at level ones. That's kinda good, not gonna lie. You can either you can also go to the next level or replay the level in case you want to farm it and grind it. But for this in case, turn it back to the lobby. Now once you get back to the stage, you finished it, you probably tried to progress to the next stage and maybe you lost, maybe you won. Look, I don't know how tough you are with units you have, so maybe you put pause on them. That's up to you and what you decide to do. Now, let's take you through everything, right? 
you come over here to the stores this is where you buy stuff missions so pretty much after you complete a stage you will get missions for it daily missions i already completed those infinite missions event missions when those comes and the main missions are like from the story mode right you get titles from completing certain stages in story mode so by the time you complete story mode you would have all of these titles right here emotes you know they're just emotes you press oh, i forgot what key it was oh my god embarrassing well you can press up here and you can do them even, even your little you, you also do these in battle and they would also do them in battle so you know in case you want to flex on somebody you're beating them real bad you start floating i am the honored one you feel me you, you can do that if you wanted to right take you over here to the hub the hub is where you like you know your little coin shop you come over here spend coins xp food emotes cosmetics i have all the cosmetics already and lucky potions lucky no these are health potions health potions they don't really work yet i think i don't know but i'm a real nigga i don't need them right now lucky potions though i'll show you those later next thing you're going to it's the challenge zone as you can see blue candy spirit orb orange candy these reset every hour on the hour and you can do all of them one time you know it's three challenges you can do every hour just always come back and do those if you're trying to do them by the time you're trying to do them trust me you want to do those all the time for the next thing right now for the next thing this is the evolution hall you come over here to Roshimaru and you see stats do you see my Krillin has C everything my Goku has S in the tag Vegeta yeah every time you roll a unit they roll IVs like Pokemon they roll stats and you can use these soul tickets, which you get from playing a game or from, you know, buying them from the shop, the special shop when they come, I'll show you that later if it's up, you can re-roll certain stats. Well, all your stats, really. The, the blue one re-rolls all stats. The, the special one only re-rolls one. I go to Goku real quick. Let's go, go to Vegeta real quick. His wordiness is zero, right? I re-roll. Now, if your wordiness is 100, you have a guaranteed chance of rolling like an, like an A stat or higher. Like, same thing with Sakura, B everything. Boop, she now has S minus defense. Same thing with Krillin, C everything. Boop, she now, he now has S minus, he has S defense, right? Now, when you roll a mythical unit, you're going to want to come over here and check what you need to evolve them. So now that it takes one purple crystal, right? You can evolve at any level, by the way. One purple crystal comes to the crafting team. And one purple crystal takes all these candy. And to get these candy, you either play the stages and drop them normally. You play infinite mode, they drop every like 20, 40 waves. And a wave 20 drops a candy and wave 50 drops a candy, right? But you can also get them from challenges. And every time you beat a challenge, like for example, see how this challenge says orange candy? If you were to beat that Zalvisa stage, you would get three orange candies. So you rack up a lot of candies that way and just from playing a game normally, right? And now you come over here to Gojo. Gojo is Blessings. I don't have any Blessings, so I can't roll. But on a unit, for example, Tsunade, no, this class, she has Strength 3. Strength boost the attack and magic attack of the units now these are some really good units some real good blessings then you get down here and it's like you get a rainbow unit and you really start to get the powerful stuff you, you can also get these from the shop from the, from the mystery shop or you can roll these in actually you know, the actual matches after matches you know just randomly getting them this is the mystery shop i'm talking about this comes back every two hours you know like every even hour this shop is here you can buy candy in cosmetics everything here costs gems by the way honestly i wouldn't recommend buying anything from this shop i would say save your gems solely for summoning that's just me but if you want to really get dripped out free you need some candies and you don't want to wait for the stages do what you do you feel me it's up to you at the end of the day now let's go into the units again look at their stats right as you can see you can come in here and just check how much damage they do how much health they have you can check their type you can check their like type as in like class, you can check the actual type, and you can check the moves they do too. For example, Goku, Kamehameha, you know, like Kamehameha is just a move that hits multiple times. You can see the accuracy, the scaling, and the base damage. Kamehameha being a physical move, I do not know why. I, I look, but I don't make moves. I just make videos, right? Kyle Ken is a move that buffs. So some moves buff, other moves like you know, alt moves have cutscenes, and everything looks really cool in this game. I'm not gonna lie to you. Now you're probably wondering. Now you're probably wondering, who do I summon on? Now, just like I said earlier, I can't really tell you who to summon on. It's really whoever you want to summon on. Personally, I would say only go for legendary units. If, if, if it's legendaries you don't have and you really want to do, you really want the unit, I say go for legendaries, right? Because most of the time, legendaries can, can carry you through the game unless you're playing PvP. PvP, I wouldn't recommend, and I'll tell you that in another video, but if you're just starting, and focus on trying to beat story mode first, right? Once you get your gems up, your units up, the max level is 40 by the way, your gems up, your units up, you can start getting, you know, start summoning, grinding infinite mode, playing the game more, and trying to be, bring the impact to all the anime. I don't even know what that means, so do not ask me where I got that from, I made it up on the spot, I'm sorry.
come back in here make sure not even forget nothing yep stats blessings the play button your units you know inventory inventory is where all this stuff comes in lucky potions boost your luck for an hour and you can use all three just lucky potions at once so just for you know the video let me use that real quick and see what we get all three tiers of lucky potion i just use them for y'all you guys are welcome any, any, anything for the viewers as you can see it's an hour timer and yes your pity does reset on the hour why i don't know but i can showcase to you a good multi summon with three luck potions you see the rates right here let's hope we get something good naruto gohan gohan naruto nami gohan oh my god what what? 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 If you're wondering why I'm streaming, I just pulled a legend. This is like secret rare, right? Secret rares can't be seen and not affected by, you know, Luck potions and secret rare Sun Jin Woo was the best unit in the game by far. Oh my god. Holy shit. That's the, I, I I I I I guess I, I guess that's how you do it, you know? Secret rare Sun Jin Woo in the ultimate god. This is the, oh my god. So that's pretty much how you play the game, what you do in the game, how to talk about the game. Before we one last thing, let me show you the type chart right here. Let me pull it up myself, in fact. Be right back. The type chart is indeed kind of wicked. It's almost like Pokemon, but not Pokemon at the same time. Because, you know, you can, you can, you know, lightning, not fit against lightning, obviously, but, you know, light is effective against dark. Dark is effective against psychic. You know, it's like Pokemon, but not Pokemon. Lightning is effective against water. But here's the weird thing, right? You have super effective and then regular effective. So some things hit regular effective like lightning is effective against wind but it's super effective against water but there's only one tier of not very effective hopefully they ask them in the game to really show you this well what you can see what's effective and not effective you no know, in game already but think of it like a pokemon type chart you just have to really figure out what changes and what doesn't change and that's pretty much you know like that's pretty much the entire game like the the game is it looks hard at first but once you sit there you know like you just sit there for a second just breathe in breathe out you can really see how easy the game is. And the game about to be so much easier for me because I just pulled the best unit in the game. Thank y'all for this video. I, I thank y'all for having the game coming out now. And I thank y'all for not playing the game because I didn't play the game yet. I had to do a little test summit and show y'all Sun Jin Woo. You know what? I'm feeling a little bit lucky lucky. Let's try to get Crocodile next. Oh, it, it, changed, it changed to Gohan. No, never mind. I'm not summoning. I already have Gohan. We're not doing that. GG. You almost got me. Thank y'all for watching. I hope y'all enjoy the game and I'll catch y'all later. My next video will be the review. Peace. Somebody.